All good? Hi there. Today I want to talk to you about the Prime Acoustic Max Trap. The Max Trap is a corner trap designed to absorb low frequencies. Now, the thing that's important to understand about bass traps in general is that they don't just absorb bass, they actually absorb all frequencies. So what you've got is a front panel that absorbs highs, mids, right down to about 100 hertz, and then the deep bass is handled by another system that is called a diaphragmatic membrane. So let's understand. Front panel starts, it's an acoustic panel, it's made with fiberglass, so it's a high density glass fiber. The one that's on the max trap is about three inches thick, so it's quite thick. That gets the low frequencies right down there. The other thing is that behind this corner, there's an air cavity, there's a space, and that space really gets that low, the low mid, that low frequency absorption, which is really important in small rooms, you know, that 100 to 150, 200 hertz range. It's always a big problem in, in small rooms, so that's what's really great about the max trap. Then inside the max trap, you have this really heavy membrane. This thing is suspended inside and what this does is it flops around as low frequencies hit it. So what happens is this acts like a big giant microphone because it's so heavy it doesn't have any effect with high frequencies so the highs are not strong enough to move it but the low frequencies are so powerful they will move this all over the place and that's how the low frequencies are actually absorbed. They're actually causing this vibration to occur which uh, technically turns uh, sound into heat. That's called thermodynamic transfer. So how does the whole thing work? It works in corners. You've got your walls, ceilings, and floors. They tend to cause sound to migrate towards the floors, uh, the corners. So that's why we put the max trap in the corner. It's easily hung. It's suspended and built, of course, with a nice wood frame. You can put them together, probably in about 30 minutes to put one together if you've never done one before. It takes a bit of practice. Uh, and then it just basically hangs in place. Um, once in your studio, you're going to find that your low frequency control is much better. You're going to have a lot less problems with modal distortion. In other words, low frequencies echoing, causing peaks and dips in your sound. This is probably the very best bass trap made today as far as a commercial off-the-shelf product. Very, very sophisticated, simple, and not that expensive. So I think uh, you'll find it to be a really wonderful addition to your studio, the Max Trap.